Well, hello, everyone. Thanks for joining me. I'm Laura McIntosh, along with Jim Etheridge from the National Cattlemen's Beef Association. Hi, Jim. Well, hello. You are in for a treat because, Jim, really what you're going to be showing us today is how to get a lot of different cuts of meat out of this one cut. I'm excited for you to see the versatility and what you can get out of that. Eye of round. How do we do it? You're going to be bringing it home in this package. Now, let's stop there. This okay. package is real tight. Yes. So what you're seeing is a vacuum packaging, which is to your benefit because it's been aged in this package. So you're going to get better tenderness because of how it's stored, which is exciting. Great. So the other thing you're going to see is when you open this package, you will notice it's been stored in it. You're going to get that beefy aroma. Yes. Um, that's normal. Okay. And it's it goes go away white. quickly. Right. Absolutely. Right. I would like to show you one tip on how to deal with the liquid that's in this package. Great. What we're gonna do is we're actually, it's vacuum packaged, so we're gonna break that seal. And the minute you do that, the liquid's gonna go to the side. Right. And what's nice is if you take this bag and treat it like a container, all you have to do, cut it on the top, and then let all of those natural juices. juices go to the bottom. Right, you've just saved your countertop and a lot of oh. extra work. Yes. Perfect. Jim, we're gonna take it from here to here. We can get a lot of different cuts with this. Eye of rounds, what do you do with this at home? I think of stews and soups, I marinate it. I show this meat a little bit of love with my marinades and my brines. Right, not only stews and those things, but you can also get some steaks. All right, show us how to be a butcher at home. So what I'm gonna do is just square it off. So this portion we're gonna make into uh, stew meat. Oh great, chili, yes. stews, oh. all of that. Absolutely, okay. then we're gonna move into actually cutting a roast. So you'd move about four inches to five inches in. Okay. And then you just, it's a simple knife cut. And when in doubt, everyone, on the packaging, you will see a slice and save sticker. On the inside of this, which I think is genius, by the way, you have the measurements right here. So we can use this as a guide, right? Absolutely. In okay, fact, great. let's uh, use that real quick for the steaks. Okay. So if you lay that on there, I'll mark it using that label. So if I look, there's an inch in right there. Yes. So I can mark it, so that'll be one steak. And then right here will be a second. So we'll go ahead and take two one inch steaks. And then you have another roast portion and this one is uh, probably right around three pounds. Oh, that's great. So we have a roast, a roast, steak, stew meat. Absolutely. 